It's been a while since I just went out to buy a knife, but with the second lockdown now in place, yesterday I went to a gun shop and I bought this, I think, <laughs> strikingly handsome looking knife. This is a Anglo Arms and Anglo Arms blue titanium folding knife. It's um, titanium coated, it's not made of titanium. In fact, it weighs about 210 grams, which is 7.4 ounces, which is about the same weight as a buck knife. And if you've got one of these, you know they're not exactly light. This is heavier by about 0.2 ounces or something, it's 7.4 ounces in total. Which um, I have to say, rather, <laughs> the titanium in the uh, title rather amuses me because it is such a such a big, heavy knife. The reviews are quite consistently good in this, although nobody seems to know what the blade's made of, and most of the reviews are about how heavy it is, and yet it's a big, heavy, solid knife. You know you've got it in your hand. That colouring, I just think it's beautiful. If you put a spray of oil over it, it gives a fantastic little rainbow effect, but there's all sorts of colours in there as well, which I think is really sweet. This is supposed to be Damascus, imitation Damascus. That's real Damascus, that's the imitation. Again, just in case you're really, really confused, real, not real. I know it's amazing that you can hardly tell the difference. It does look good though, and it wasn't until I read the description that I <laughs> found out this is supposed to be this is supposed to be Damascus. I've kept the pocket clip on this side um, for two reasons. One, it actually helps balance your hand while you're holding the knife, but taking this off does make this this plate feel very uh, it's just, just too narrow and the other reason is I could undo that screw quite neatly that one just rounded off as soon as I went near it with the Torx bit so you know it's Anglo arms what do you expect it's 11 quid it's probably much more of a better looking knife than a functional knife now you might think it's a flipper um, but it isn't it's a sort of flipper assisted opening Knife. I have tried loosening this screw here, but as you can just about see, possibly there, this other end of this stud has absolutely no means of grasping it. I think that's probably something to do with the idea that flippers may well become illegal in the UK. It's it's the the, the legislation simply isn't clear, and it won't be very effective either. So it's a big tough knife nice bit of jimping and that's really quite a nice sweet action the centering is uh, well you know not bad compared to the buck 110 which was about six times the price of this i think if angular ones can do it i can't see why buck can't do it um but yeah it's a nice that just that is such a smooth action it's a real shame you can't just put your hand out the out of here and go oh yeah you're right that is a really nice smooth action because it is helped presumably by the fact that there are a couple of nylon washers in there not that you can see it too well but it is a strikingly i think strikingly handsome knife sharp out the box Well, you know, eleven pound sharp. I've, had, I've, 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 I've bought knives that are much more expensive that weren't at all sharp. Nearly, very nearly, shaving sharp. And we have, yep, I can definitely see a hair just there. So all in all, for eleven pounds, you're getting something that looks really, really good. It's fairly effective. And is just I just think it's a nice, it's a handsome, interesting, handsome, beautiful knife. Give it a coat of oil, and the, you know, the colours just come out of this dramatically. You're not buying anything fantastic quality, but it's a strikingly blue knife, and I haven't got one, and I just wanted to go and spend some money in a local shop and help them before the poor buggers probably go under with this lockdown. Anyway, this is it. Anglo Arms Blue Titanium Folder. Bought on a whim. Not a decision I've actually regretted.